Hello YouTube, I'm back. I have actually, this is an update to my how to use your controller to play Guild Wars 2. After, uh, shortly after I made that video, my friend uh, found a Guild Wars uh, expat or profile for this guy that was showing how he had it set up that if you press the button, it would press one of the numbers but if you held it it would press a totally different number so i downloaded his profile and opened it up and modified my profile so it looks just like that so here is my new profile i have it set up let me go into it and go into the advanced tab Pretty much the way this works is it has it set up that, you know, I guess if you press and release it for, you know, 0 0.05 seconds, in other words, you know, instantaneous, it will press 1. But if it is held for 20.2 uh, seconds, and let's see, I guess, yeah, it would somehow the way this is set up, yeah, it's got like, you know, so you had a, a add release the number you want you add another one for 0.2 or 0.3 depending on how long you want to hold it and then you add another add hold zone for one uh you know 0.01 seconds longer then you enter the number that you want and then you add a pause after that so let me actually show you what that is let me go ahead and open up the test now let me drag over notepad now, let me grab my controller. I will press, you know, A. I just go, you know, quickly press it. Press, 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 press. You can say I'm pressing one, but if I hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. See, it works. Same thing with, uh, you know, if I press B, I'll hit two. If I hold it, I'll get eights. See, two, eight, eight, eight. Same thing with Y. I'm pressing three. If I hold it, now I got nines. Or, you know, X, I'm still dodging. Hold it down, you can see it's repeating it, because that one there doesn't have a second one. I have my map set up that, you know, pressing it will pick up items up, and holding it down will trigger my elite skill. So I can easily bash that at any time. Back, I still have that as switch weapons, or if I hold it, it will open the map. I will probably change that, because it's annoying. You know, you can still have, you know, the D-pads doing different things. You can see I'm tab targeting apparently and up is R. There's tab targeting. You know, and so, so on and so forth. Um, get out of that. No. So, as you can see, I have it set up that. Let me reload that. Don't save it. So as you can see, uh, I have it set up that A presses 1 and 7, B presses 2 and 8, Y presses 3 and 9, start pluses the, you know, F, which is pick up item, and 0. I still have this set up with, you know, the moving the mouse around or selecting with right click. Let's see. That's, uh, R was run, I believe. So yeah, up on my D-pad runs, tab targeting. I switched this, so now left and right actually strafes instead of turning my character to the left or to the right when you move the stick. I have it set up right now with uh, left trigger pressing uh, the left mouse button. I saw the right trigger as jump, so those is four and five, and I don't need a, I don't need a page two anymore. So. Like I said, you just set those up with just like that. Um, if you're wondering how you customize this, because if I, you know, there's this little area right down here that you can customize it with certain text, like, you know, YouTube. You can see it updates it, so you can add custom labels of, to this as well. Because if you don't have anything, it just shows whatever the last thing that you last key in this section but it shows it with a gray so 
There you go, there's an update. I am apparently bumping the controller with my knee as I'm recording this video. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this video, there is five days, 10 hours and 47 minutes until Gear Wars 2 Early Access starts. So I am really, really excited right now. I hope you guys are as well. Um, I noticed, I think yesterday, they had a 10 megabyte update here for the launcher. So, you know, yeah. Hurry up game, launch. I want to play. See ya.